Awesome. Yeah. So, so yeah. What do you want to talk about? Tell me that. Ask me those questions. Yeah, dude. So I have three questions, and it's. I, I'm just gonna start by like saying that I just want to, you know, I'm trying to grow my YouTube channel as everybody else is trying to grow their YouTube channel, and right, I right. feel like people are just stuck in this in this uh, kind of spinning world of it's all about the gear, the lights, and I want more views and subs, but we forget about just creating content to create content. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. And I've been falling mm -hmm. in love with the idea of just creating content to create. And I have, you know, this phrase that I use in my videos, hashtag keep on creating. And, and, and that's kind of speaking to forget about the gear, forget about, forget about your lights, use your phone if you have to, but it's about just creating what you're feeling. Even, even if it's mm -hmm. sucky content, like that's what it's about. And that's where I think I've thrived in my content. Not like, you know, I don't care if I get the views. I don't care if I get the subscribers. I'm just a creative person and like all that stuff will fall into place. I just know if I keep on yeah. creating, like all that stuff will come and it's already actually mm -hmm. come to life. It's already come to fruition in a sense where I've gotten, you know, some cool sponsorships, cool deals with some brands. And so it's working. And so I guess cool. from your perspective as like a big YouTuber, I guess people would call you a big YouTuber based on your subscriber count and, and all this stuff. And you could speak at events, right? Uh, you may have something mm -hmm. different or peg that as a different name. But like I have three questions for you. And the, the first one would be like, you know, why should people start a YouTube channel? Is it worth it? And is it too late to start? Yeah, dude. I um yeah, I mean, I think you already hit on a lot of a lot of that stuff where it's like I, I think you have to ask yourself, you know, what why start a YouTube channel? Are you starting it primarily because you are looking to build an audience or because you're looking to grow a business or create another revenue stream or are you starting it primarily because you're an artist and you want to have a place to express yourself on video or are you starting right. it because um, you love the community and you want to be able to kind of join this collective conversation of all of uh, all of the filmmakers and we're all kind of through video form and in the comments and whatnot but through video form kind of having this ongoing conversation about filmmaking on, on YouTube, like just, just get, get honest with yourself about what is it that you really want and, right, yeah. um, from, from starting it. And then I think that that'll give you a, a little bit of a better perspective on, I don't know, it's just, it's just being true to yourself in that way. Totally. I think helps you figure out your priorities and what's really important. So I would say, I mean, like, Subscribers are important, like you mentioned, for um, for monetization, for getting opportunities to work with brands, for getting opportunities to speak at events and conferences and stuff like that. But right. in terms of the creative expression and, and the art and just being a part of the conversation, they're less important, right? So it's, right. it just yep. helps you kind of weigh, like, why are you doing this? And, and, um, and set your expectations at, at like a at a at a level where you're gonna be you're gonna it's gonna be easier for you to keep going i think is what i'm trying to say and, and totally then, yeah um you know is it is it worth it i think that 100 percent it's worth it if I, i've always had this um if only just for one sort of mindset where right. yep even if like if, if a video that I make or something that I do on social positively affects one person or inspires one person to action or helps one person, um, I don't know, get from point, point A to point B, yep. that, that's enough for me. That's, totally. that's yeah. truly enough for me. And I think it's, it's so easy to see like 10 views on a video and be, mm -hmm. and think like, okay, I got 10 views, but the reality of that being like 10 people, like 10 of you and me, or even even whenever you have like calls like this or you do get to meet people at conferences or something and you see that these views in large part, I mean like there's bots and stuff and whatever, but in right. large part are actual people. It's just that that was a really big kind of, I think revelation for me that that 10 views came from 10 people or like 10 positive comments came from 10 people who are actually, I'm actually impacting their mm -hmm. life in some way. Right. That, that just, for me, that makes it totally worth it. Um, but the question of, is it, is it too late? I think, 
again, it comes back to, well, what do you want and what are your expectations of how quickly you're going to be able to get it? I don't think it's too late. I mean, I think that I think it's going to be harder today than it was last year, but it's going to be right, easier yeah. today than it will be in, in a year from now. So, and, and who knows, maybe the platform won't be YouTube at that point. Maybe it'll be something else, but totally, um, but you just got to start though. Like that's, that's what you're trying to say. Exactly. Just starting is, is yeah. if, if that's something that's important to you, if it's something that you find value in and that you get, you know, value in the creation, like you were talking about value in the creation of the right. stuff, even if it doesn't have the eyeballs, then yeah, hundred percent it makes, it's worth it and it's not too late. And, and you should start because you're setting your, you're setting your bar at something that's extremely attainable and, and you're yep. setting yourself up to to um meet or exceed those expectations so um no i don't i don't think it's too late at all man totally i mean so when you started like your year of daily vlogging i mean what prompted you to start that and i mean finish because i'm on 20 i'm on day 23 of daily uploading i wouldn't call it vlogging i just i'm trying to create valuable content that i like i hope other people will like too but like what Mm -hmm. prompted you to do that and what what was your goal in that yeah. So my, the biggest thing for me was I felt like something big was happening in my life or mm-hmm. like if something big wasn't happening, I wanted to make something big happen or yeah. I just yep. had this feeling. I had this feeling of like, um, I like a like sense of urgency, of right? Yeah. A bit of urgency, yeah. a bit of just, it was some sort of, I don't know, weird feeling of, uh, of I'm building this video production company, um, some we're gonna get some sort of big opportunity or something's gonna happen with a client where yeah. um there's gonna be something big that happens. I just had this feeling something big is happening and I wanna be documenting it while it happens. So I had been kicking around the idea of daily vlogging for like two and a half years leading up to that point. Right. And yep. um I was reading a book by a guy guy called Grant Cardone, and one of the quotes that I read in the book was, if there's something you know you need to do, stop thinking about it and just do it. Totally, yes. (laughs) I love that. um, Immediately (laughs) vlogging popped into my head. I kind of laid out a schedule for how I thought it was going to fit into my day because my wife, like that sort of planning, scheduling is really important to her. And I showed it to her. I'm like, hey, this is how I think I could fit the daily vlogging into my day. And she's like, yep. you've been talking about this for a long time. This is the first time you've ever really showed me like how logistically it would work. I think right. you should go for it. So yeah, um, yeah I, I started and I just started documenting daily. I think the reason I finished it, I... Um, it was, it was really freeing to me. I have ADHD. So the creative, um, the daily cyclical creative workflow and cycle, um, was really rewarding to me to be able to start and finish something all in the same day. Yeah. um, Yeah, man. And just kind of get that, like, it was like action reward, action reward, just being able to hit upload again, not necessarily, because of how many people were seeing the stuff, but just because I was creating something new every day. And, um, did you feel like you needed something to push you even more? Like, I I know that's what you're kind of getting at, but like right now, that's what I feel like. And I felt this way for like the last few years. And I'm, you know, you needed like something to just like help you level up or what, what do you mean? Yeah. Like I wanted to cut my teeth into something because I knew I had something to say. And a lot of my friends, you know, my friend group, we're in the same circles of social media platforms. And I'm like, what can I use to like tell my story that's not Instagram or Facebook or Twitter or Twitch or whatever it may be. And YouTube just popped in my mind. Like I've have never tried YouTube. What if I were to tell yeah, my yeah. story and where I am right now on YouTube and just videoed everything. And right. I mean, when I first started, everybody was like ragging on me saying, dude, you'll never get anywhere. Don't try to do it for the money. You'll never get I mean, all the above, but what they didn't understand is I wasn't trying to get, I'm not trying to get famous. I just want to Mm -hmm. build like a Johnny Q legacy for my family on YouTube. Mm -hmm. And if it happens to get somewhere, that's a blessing. That's awesome. Like I'll take it. But like everything, like if people know Johnny Q, they say like, dude, he's a go-getter. He works hard. He's a doer. The guy's inspirational. And like, this is stuff that people have told me and I want to translate that on video. And I feel like you. Mm-hmm. I feel like we're kind of on the same path here, and 
you know, you did a year of vlogging and I'm like, well, let's see what I can do. And I'm not yeah. really going to do a year, but I'm just going to do it until I just can't no more. So, and yeah, I mean, it's been cool. tough as you know. Uh, and so I guess with that question number two that I have is how can anyone grow on their channel? Uh, should we make content that stands out or content we love? Yeah, I, I think that like all of, with this too, it's kind of, it's a both and. It's like, yeah, sure. if your priority, you know, if for me it goes in, it goes in like ebbs and flows. Making videos that I think are going to do well mm -hmm. in, you know, in, in the algorithm with the audience, with the channel, but then, you know, and that's very fun for me and that's what I'm focusing on sometimes. And then I'll kind of flow back to, okay, let me just make stuff that's exciting for me to make and then I'll flow back to, I just kind of follow um, my gut feeling and what I want. And I think I think the biggest factor in making successful stuff, successful videos on YouTube, is that the people who are watching it can see that your heart's in it, that you are having mm. a good time yeah, doing yep. it. And so whether your heart's in making stuff for brands, making client stuff, or whether your heart's in making stuff for yourself that you don't think anybody's gonna like, but you just wanna do it. Right. Um, I think that both of those can end up being very like successful, quote unquote, in terms of growth, quote unquote, on the, on the platform. I do think you have to ask yourself, again, what growth are you seeking? Like for me, I was seeking personal growth. I was seeking sure, a yeah. way to kind of get caught up in a creative cycle and workflow and, and level up in my life, like you were saying. Yep. Um, if you're talking about, absolutely talking about growing a channel, I think you still need to um, take both of those things into account. Stuff you think the audience will want versus um, also stuff that you think that, you know, that you're just excited about, again, right. because for channel growth, I think the I think the people who are watching you need to see the passion and and see that your heart's in it. So totally, it's, it's a it's a both it's a both answer again for me, dude. I love it. And I mean, I guess my third and final question in this creator YouTube world: How do we go from, you know, comparing myself to a Cody Warner or X Y and Z person and creator to, dude, I love what he's doing. I like I want to be his champion and not really like kind of go over the top but just support him in what he does. Like, have you found that comparison game in this world for you personally? Oh, yeah. Yeah, yeah. I think, uh, I think comparison's huge in, on, on YouTube. And I think, I think it's hard not to compare yourself. I think that that's yeah. a sort of natural thing that we do as humans. Um, but yeah, for me, it's like whenever I catch myself in that headspace of I'm comparing myself to somebody and being like, oh, well, at least I'm better than her. Mm. Or I'm comparing myself to somebody I'm being, and I'm like, man, she's so much better than me. We, either way, I try to catch myself in that headspace and be like, yeah, that's not what it's about. I'm, right. I'm out here um, doing doing something. I'm, I'm trying to do Cody to the best of my ability, Cody. You know, and then, yeah, totally, um, man. Also, with that comparison thing. Um, I don't, I don't necessarily think that comparison's a bad thing. It's just, right. it's who are you comparing yourself to? And I think the healthiest person to compare yourself to is you from yesterday or you from right. last year. Yeah, man. And just to be able to see that progress in your work. And, mm -hmm. um, I do think, I think the, the, one of the issues that doesn't get talked about often with comparison is that if you get too caught up in the comparison game where you're comparing yourself to let's say Pete McKinnon, sure. um, what ends up happening generally is you start making stuff that looks a lot more like Pete McKinnon style stuff. And yeah. then people can start to see the, can start to see like, oh my goodness, this stuff is looking more and more and more like Pete and less right, and less right. and less like Cody. And they don't like that, you know? And, and so yeah, I yeah. think, I think that's one of like the risks with comparing yourself too much is that you, you start to let it get to you in a way that makes your stuff less unique and stand out less and like less authentically you. And I think that YouTube is about finding the authentic you. Um, that That's one of the biggest things that happened for me last year is, is finding my voice, finding out, like getting comfortable with expressing myself right. um, and, and not really care, caring what people thought of it. Um, and so comparison can kind of lead you away from that, from that, that vision, that goal. And, and, uh, yeah, so that's kind of my, that's, and then how to do that, you know, it's like, yeah, it's really, yeah. it's, um, 
you might have heard this said about forgiveness at some point. Like forgiveness isn't like a one-time thing. It's a thing that you have to keep on choosing over and over yeah. every yep. time you start like harboring resentment towards somebody. You're like, right. no, but you know what? I'm going to choose to forgive him. Um, it's the same thing with comparison. It's like you you are doing really well and then you fall into the trap and then you say, no, you know what? I'm going to stop and I'm going to go back over here. The goal is becoming right. my authentic self and my own artistry and style and exploring all that and like just daily or hourly making that decision to kind of come back to the to the headspace where you you know you need to be totally yeah dude that's awesome like i think a lot of people need to hear this uh it just because everyone compares you know everyone to to everyone and i think you're right where we should compare each other to or ourselves to what we were yesterday a week before yeah. or last year and like that's super important because i I want to grow personally, but I want to grow in my editing skills and I want to push myself harder every single day to create good content, yeah. you know? And ultimately, this is about YouTube and how to do this whole YouTube thing because everyone is on YouTube and then they die out. <laughs> yeah. But like, I feel all of this with consistency is is almost the key. And then you, you won't be as, com, you know, you won't compare yourself to others as much. If anything, though, yeah. like your work, like Cody Warner's work, uh, McKinnon, you know, Matt Hipoya, like all those big creators... I like I'm now comparing myself in a way where like, oh, I could do that and that can push me to, you know, have another creative idea on the same subject. You know what I mean? Mm -hmm. uh, so yeah, like oh, I wonder what I, I wonder. Oh, that's a really cool um, execution of X, Y, Z. And it gives yep. you this idea for something that you want to try. Yeah. Yeah. That's totally. A healthier way to think about it, too. It's awesome, dude. Well, I love that. And I hope I get like I hope all the best for you and your family. I've seen you from yeah, afar. Yeah, you too, man. It's awesome to see your grind and your work. And I respect it, dude. And so, in that way, you've inspired me. And so, mm -hmm. I mean, all the more power to you. Like, you've inspired one person, and that's Johnny Q. So, Thank that's you, why I'm man. working twice as hard now. Because, yeah, it's just in right. inspirational, man. Love it, dude. Love to hear that. Thanks for that encouragement. Yeah, dude, of course. Well, dude, thanks so much, man. Right, man. I appreciate it. So, lots of good things that Cody Warner just touched on. And I hope this session inspired you guys to do more. Like, there's so many things that we could be doing. And, you know, the the main thing about forgetting the gear, forgetting the lights, and just going after what you want, going after what you you know you were born for kind of mentality, and just always keep on creating. Like, that's my thing right now. And I hope you guys just get uber inspired and just go do all the work right now. So, yeah, I'm pumped. I hope you're pumped. All right, I'm going to go make another video. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you next time on the John Q channel. Peace.